Let's go to Matthew 7. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Amplified Version. So Matthew chapter 7 verses, I believe, 21 through 23. Okay. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So that is saying, everyone... There are many people who says that they believe in God. They may even act like a Christian or act like they are doing everything right. So in public, they may seem like they are a very good person or or very good Christian. Okay, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So people who are claiming to be Christian, people who are claiming to be doing his will, from what this is saying, every single one of these people are not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Just because they seem like they are a Christian. Now, some people are the ones who are following his rules and regulations, but there are some people out there who act like they are a Christian, but they really aren't. Like they are in consistent, persistent, willful sin. Now, we all are going to make mistakes, but doing things on purpose consistently, that is different from making a mistake every so often okay but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven so just because you are calling on Jesus name just because you go to church and do all of these great things does not mean that you are going to heaven you are going to heaven when you are following the rules and regulations of the Bible. Does that make any sense? Because many people that go to church now are not following the rules and regulations of the Bible. They believe that church attendance alone is going to get them into heaven. Like God is going to overlook their sins, their persistent sins, and say, well, hey, this person has been going to church for a very long time, so let me just overlook their sins and let them come into heaven. No, it does not work that way. 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works. 23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So there are people who are doing good works of God. There are people who are prophesying. There may be people who are casting out devils, demons out of people. There may be people who are doing like, they may be feeding the poor, they may be doing good things for others, good things in the church and stuff like that, but they are still in sin. Does that make any sense? So works alone, good deeds alone, is not going to get you into heaven. I continue to hear people say that, hey, Kevin, I am a good person. You know, I think that I don't have to follow all the rules of God, but I am a good person, so I should go to heaven because how good I am. It does not matter about your good deeds or how good you think you are. You have to be following the rules and regulations of the Bible to get into heaven. So, you can pretty much say that it is best for you to do less good deeds 
and follow God's will other than do many good deeds and not follow God's will. You can give all your money away. You can work for free for 80 years. If you are not following the rules and regulations of the Bible, you are going to hell. You can, let me say this, you can do some things every so often for people, less than the first person. If you are following the rules and regulations of the Bible, you are going to heaven. So we should not be so focused upon doing good deeds for people and focus on following the rules and regulations of the Bible. Other than like, hey, you know, I can't stop having sex before marriage, but let me feed 1000 people and that should take away that sin there so I can continue to do it and God is going to overlook it because look at the good that I am doing. It does not work that way. Or, you know, I can't stop fighting, so let me give money to poor kids and God is going to overlook my sin because look at what I am doing. I am giving money to poor kids, so, hey, God have to overlook my sins. It does not work that way. Obedience always comes first, then sacrifice. Sacrifice is good but make sure that you are obeying first. Always obedience before sacrifice. So just because you go to church 20 times a week and you are doing great things for people, if you are not following God, following his rules, everything you are doing is in vain because you are not going to heaven. Yes, you are going to reap what you sow on earth, yes, because everything you do, when you do good, good things are coming back to you. When you do bad, bad things are coming back to you. So yes, you will reap what you sow on this earth. But when it comes down to your afterlife, if you are not following God's will, there is no way that you are going to heaven. Even with all of your good deeds, even if you say that you are this good person, I continue to hear that. Like, and how are you good? Now, God is the one who made everyone, right? So everything is based upon his standard, right? So he is the one to say what is good and what is not good. So how can you say that you are good when he says that you are not good? When you are not following God's will, you are not good. So the human's view of what good is means nothing. So I don't know why people continue to say that, continue to say that, say that they are good when God's standard of what is good is not the same as the human's view of what good is. Well, I am a good person. There are people who may kill people and say, hey, I believe that I am a good person. There are people who may rape people and say, hey, overall, you know, yes, I may rape people, but overall, I am a good person. The point that I am trying to make, don't lean to your own understanding because if you do, you are going to be wrong. Because everyone thinks in some type of way that they are good, but everyone can't be right. So we have to go by the standard of God, not by the standard that we place ourselves in. I can say that I am a good person, but if I don't obey God, I am not a good person. 
Yes, I don't kill people. I don't steal. I don't do that. But if I continue to have, let's say that if I continue to have sex before marriage, I am not good. Why? Because I am not following God's rules. But is that really bad, Kevin? You know, having sex before marriage or lying and cheating and stuff like that? Well, if God says not to do it, then yes, it is really that bad. Once again, you are following the human's view on things, which is going to curse you and send you to hell. Does that make any sense? So many people who believe that they are doing God's will by doing good deeds may think that when they die, they are going to heaven. But as you can see here in verse 23, they are in sin. God cares about good deeds, but he cares about obedience first. Obedience first, then sacrifice. Your good deeds can't pay for your current sins. Your good deeds cannot pay for your current sins. Only obedience can get you right with God, not good deeds. I pray that makes sense. So stop saying that you are a good person when you are disobeying God. You are not good. <laughs> you are not good when you choose to disobey. So stop saying that. It really makes no sense. God bless.